Welcome to GMAT Problem Solving. Fractions 1. We are moving on to harder problems of fractions. Let's do number 1. One third of the students fail in the test. If there were 3600 students in all, how many passed? So, we just have to first understand what the problem is exactly asking you. So, they are saying one third of them failed. It means two third of them must have passed. And because the question is asking about how many passed, so it's better to do it for the past ones directly. Two thirds of this is of 3600 is the number of students that passed. That's it. Three times one, three times one, three times two. So that gives you 1200 times 2 gives you 2400 that's your answer next three-fifths of the boys submitted their assignments on time 30 students submitted on time so it's the same fraction they are talking about so it means three-fifths of the students of students submitted on time and they have also given us the figure actual number of the students who will submit it in time there's 30 it means 3 fifth of students equals 30 so if you want to find out how many students were there so it's 30 times this 3 by 5 when it comes to the other side of the equation it simply flips becomes 5 over 3 3 times 1 3 times 10 is 30 and 5 times 10 is 50 so the total number of students is 50 13 by 19 in my collection <coughs> were purchased by my father if 72 were not if 72 were not so it means what is the remaining fraction out of these 13 by 19 as we have done in the previous videos if one of the things is 3 by 13 by 19 then the remaining fraction is 19 minus 13 that is 6 by 19 that's how you calculate the remaining part of the fraction so it's 6 over 19 of the books of the total books there must be the ones that he is talking about that were not bought by his father and it equals 72 so if you want to find out the number of books it will be 72 times and this fraction is flipped because it comes to the right hand side and 6 times 12 and 12 times 19 gives you 228 so now we have total number of books here but the question asked for the number of books purchased by him so that must be the difference so if we subtract 72 from that we will get one five six now there's another way of doing it which is a much easier way which we should also learn now if we look at this question there are two fractions 13 by 9 and 6 by as soon you as soon as you read this question on the screen in the real test you can notice this thing that there's a fraction and there is a remaining fraction they are talking about because this actual 72 is the ones who are not so you know so there is 13 by 19 and the remaining that is 6 by 19 if you if we look at these two fractions 6 by 19 and 13 by 19 both of them has the same denominator of course if the denominator is same it means the deciding number is not this one it's the ones in the numerator so this is 6 and 13 that are the important numbers and when it was 6 so it was 72 because they were saying 72 were not bought by his father and this 6 by 19 denotes the ones that were not bought by his father it means this 6 gives you 72 so 13 gives you what that's the question we don't need to find out the total number of books we just look at this relationship 
that if 6 becomes 72 13 becomes what so if 6 becomes 72 how can 6 become 72 yeah if you multiply it by 12 it can become 72 if you multiply the same 12 by 13 now so we'll find out this number and we know 13 by 12 gives you 156 it's your answer so that's a much easier way to find out the answers and in fact in the real test you will not be doing all this writing and you might be doing this problem early here's another one if you look at this question what is this telling us it's saying 7 by 9 of my monthly salary was spent in the first 20 days if I was left with again left with so it means if 7 by 9 is spent what you are left with 2 by 9 yes so there are, th there are 2 fractions and this 2 by 9 of his salary equals 240 so the total salary must be 240 times 9 over 2 that will give you 1080 how much did he spend in the first 20 days the difference so you take away 240 from here and you're left with 840 that's your answer if you want to do it even faster than this one then we can just do our comparing proportion method so we know there are two fractions here 2 by 9 and 7 by 9 and if you also know because the denominator is same so it doesn't affect our answer it's not required so we just need to consider 2 and 7 and if this 2 means 240 7 means what that's the question so if 2 becomes 240 how can it become 240 yes by multiplying by 120 if we multiply this 7 by 120 we'll get the answer 7 times 120 is 840 so there's so much quicker way of finding out the answer to this question let's do another one now this is a harder question after pouring in 30 liters the tank was 7 by 11 full if the tank was half filled initially how many liters is the total capacity of the tank so we'll have to first understand what the question is the question is this is a tank it was already half filled so it was half filled and then after pouring in 30 liters so let's pour in 30 liters and then we see that now it is 7 by 11 so what is this 30 liters equal to this 30 liters in terms of fractions it's equal to the difference between 7 by 11 and two, uh, half so 7 by 11 minus half is how much and if you have seen the videos on fractions the basics you will know the easier method is the crossing like 2 times 7 gives you 14 minus 11 over 22 so that is 3 over 22 3 over 22 of the total capacity of the tank is 30 so what is the total capacity of the tank this 3 over 22 will move on to the right side right inside of the equation and it will be flipped become 22 by 3 and then you can cancel so 22 times 10 is 220 liters that is what your answer is okay